Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Uh, today we have a special episode for you. It's basically all about the Spyderco Delica 4 and why it's such a highly recommended uh, everyday carry piece and really kind of known as one of the top two recommendations when it comes to uh, what knife to get as your first quote unquote real knife um, from a real knife maker uh, who makes cutting tools um, and has some history and obviously some significance in the industry, Spyderco. Uh, you know, it's, it's right up there, uh, right up next to Benchmade, uh, of course. So the Benchmade Mini Grip is probably one of the more in this size range going to be the other, you know, the other side of that, the yin to the yang in the kind of, uh, you know, 80 bucks to $100 uh, price range. And uh, here we have an assortment of Delicas from my collection, um, some with very light mods, some with very heavy mods, um, uh, most of which with actually different blade steels, which is uh, really interesting, um, versus I would say my uh, Benchmade mini grip video which had you know predominantly this the same blade steel so here uh, I definitely am more of a collector when it comes to some of the different blade steel options and then personalizing them uh, with different types of scale options or if the factory scales are quite unique then I end up keeping them on there um, you'll see also a couple of different types of clips from milled clips to deep carry clips and whatnot um, so we're definitely gonna just kind of talk about uh, an overview really of the Delica 4 and what makes it so great and so highly recommended. So with all that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, now before we jump into the full uh, kind of uh, review and, and overview of the Delicas, real quick wristwatch check. Uh, you know, my channel is predominantly known for uh, the watch reviews and here I'm wearing a uh, brand new Boulder Expedition. Uh, this is the Everest uh, color combination, which basically means the blue dial model there. It has the fully bead blasted case, 200 meters water resistance. Uh, it actually even does have some anti-magnetic resistance there. It's automatic. Um, it's, it's a really nice piece and I think really fits in with the EDC crowd. I actually have it on an aftermarket strap from Barton Bands. Um, silicone, really nice as the quick release pins, nicely formed, super comfortable. So while you're watching the video, this is what's going to be flopping around on my wrist. If you have any questions, definitely check out, um, you know, my other playlists to see my watch reviews, uh, if you're into that. So down to these knives here, guys. So the, here's probably my most stock, um, Delica that I have. I uh, really, it's pretty much just a plain VG10 model um, with just a polished clip that I pulled off of another uh, Delica, essentially. Or it might have even not been a Delica that I pulled this clip off of. But uh, essentially, it's, it's very stock, right? This is very much an OEM plus knife. I use it all the time. Uh, this one's pretty much always at my desk and ends up taking most of the duties when it comes to opening boxes and whatnot. Um, so this is a knife that I use all the time. I've even sharpened this one. Very simple. Of course, something that carries over across all these Delicas is that it has, you know, that full flat grind, um, which is really great for slicing. The ergonomics on this thing is absolutely amazing. And it's something that, of course, as you start adding aftermarket scales, it's definitely something you have to consider is keeping those great ergonomics because your hand just really locks in. I mean, honestly, um, I've probably used this analogy before, but this is such a nice locked in grip that if, if instead of a blade, this was a rope and this was how I was hanging on to, you know, the, <laughs> I was being strung along a helicopter and this is what I had to grab onto, this would actually be pretty secure guys I mean I just it's because you get so much purchase here and then you basically you're pushing it's just you're getting the push and the pull it's really really balanced in the hand and it is it's really a cunning instrument and that's one of the things that uh, obviously spider has always been really huge on is that it's a tool for cutting it's not just a piece of eye candy so the the aesthetics might be a bit polarizing people might see this and might be a little put off by it you know the dimensions you got a little bit of a larger handle smaller blade but you know what this thing is infinitely capable uh, still works in uh, various grasps and grips, but you know what? Chances are you're going to be more in an EDC uh, kind of choked up carry, uh, or as I should say, uh, cutting uh, when it comes to how you're going to be using this out in the field or just in the office. Um, so that's the plain VG10. Next, we have S30V, um, and this is a little bit more of a rare 
uh, blade steel, and then I also have it on these aftermarket aluminum scales from Wiseman, and then with an MXG gear clip. So the nice thing is it's actually quite light, um, especially because it's milled out, it's aluminum, of course, but most of the weight on the uh, Delica comes from the steel liners that are inside here, which pretty much go the full length of the handle. So um, that's something you do have to consider when you do add aftermarket scales, is you're gonna be adding some weight, uh, because it is not necessarily a lightweight knife, uh, it's just really well balanced, but because it has a full steel liners, there's actually a decent amount of weight that's already in there. Um, so what this does is essentially, oh, actually, you know what? No, if, if I remember correctly, yep. This actually gets rid of the, of the liners altogether, which is how it keeps it so light. So this basically because of the uh, the layout, you're gonna be just using um, the, the scales are actually gonna replace the steel liners and it's just gonna be all aluminum, which is how you're able to keep it so light. Cause so you're shedding some weight, obviously, uh, by cutting the steel liners out, but you're also adding a little bit of weight when you're going aluminum versus FRN. Um, so really nice the cutouts are great definitely has more of a tactical look but still really great in hand i you know you you get really great purchase um and then you even get a little bit of grip if you have any you know if you want to go for more of an edc kind of cut you can uh, hold it in, in a lot of different ways you got jimping everywhere all the right places of course um so if you want to do any other types of grasps you're, you're pretty much set uh so Really nice. Uh, also, you know, pretty much I think most of these are from uh, the Seki City uh, factory, but this is the S30V model. Uh, I think it came with some like weird, uh, almost like a tie-dye look um, um, scale that was like a, a blue and yellow. I'm not green and yellow, uh, but I had that switched out there. Next, we have a ZDP 189 model, which I've uh, put on some. Uh, some flitanium scales there and then uh, rips garage tech um, milled um, clip there which I think looks great I also decided to keep the the uh, green FRN uh, backspacer there uh, although you can replace that with you know they have full titanium uh, options and then also carbon fiber I decided to keep that green just because it's it's a little bit of a telltale sign for the ZDP 189 super uh, tough uh, edge retention, you know, really, really great, super, super sharp slicer, uh, great metal. But here you're going to be adding a lot of weight because you actually are retaining those metal, those full metal liners, the steel ones, and then you're also adding titanium on top of that. And there's not like a lot of special milling that's done here. You can see there's not much that's really cut away. And it does add a little bit of thickness, um, or it's actually probably about the same amount of thickness there, but of course, versus plastic. Um, or fiber reinforced plastic um, versus titanium. Obviously, titanium, although it's light uh, for a metal, it's not you know it's it's not super light or anything like that. So here you're gonna have it's gonna be a little bit heavier. The balance is definitely gonna be more towards uh, the rear of the knife. Um, but again, you still get the great shape, the great ergonomics, nice and locked in there. Really great ZDP 189. Uh, definitely a popular blade steel choice as well as it's become more readily available. Uh, now we actually have um, a HAP 40 uh, model which basically is laminated. You can see there's two different blade steels. There's the edge and then there's the outer portion. So you're going to have the SUS 410, basically a stainless that's going to be wrapped around the HAP 40, uh, which is going to be super sharp but not uh, as stain resistant there and rust resistant, corrosion resistant, whatever you want to think about. Um, and then also, uh, it's, so that actually comes with these great wood scales. Um, you can see really, really solid, beautiful work here uh, on that back lock. And then I just, again, it's actually the same uh, Rips uh, Garage Tech uh, milled pocket clip, but this one has some fluting on it that I think actually flows really well with the wood grain. So, I, you know, f this is for me really nice, handsome gentleman's piece you can carry. It's not going to scare anybody. Um, you know, and then obviously extremely, extremely sharp. I mean, this thing is just hair popping sharp. We're really beautiful, and I do like the way that the lines kind of flow and follow. It's a little bit sharp uh, on this underside as far as like catching, you know, you, you don't want to run your fingers across this. It feels a little bit unfinished, uh, but the backside is just beautifully done, super tight. 
Um, I think this is actually a knife center exclusive. And then of course I just did add the uh, extra pocket clip there just for a feeling of kind of completion and uh, you know, I think with the upgraded, you know, steel and the upgraded scales, it was nice to actually upgrade it with a really beautiful uh, milled clip. Although, obviously, it's not super deep carry. It's going to be carrying a lot more similar to the stock clip, as you can see. Um, it's going to carry a little bit lower um, than the stock clip, but still a relatively high as far as the amount that's going to be peeking out of your pocket. But you know what? Oh, actually, I don't want to close that. The amount that's peeking out of your pocket, but uh, it doesn't really matter because when you have this peeking out, I think that's actually quite a nice piece of kit that you got peeking out of your pocket. Uh, that's a good looking knife, so no worries there. Here we have a, a really customized one here uh, with Wilkins grip. Uh, titanium scales they've actually do have the flame and then you'll notice by this backspacer that's actually gold uh, because this is also another interesting uh, laminated steel option we got the super gold um, and then it has the SUS again laminated on top so you're gonna get a really nice super sharp uh, metal but then wrapped in something that's a little bit more stainless so that it, it's going to preserve uh, that metal there but you're going to still have that really nice sharp cutting edge and then this is actually an MX Jigger bronze clip uh, because you know of course there's some bronze accenting here with the blues and the purples and the heat treat that was done there in the anodization I think this looks really good but it is much heavier I mean this is this is a beast. This thing is really, really heavy. You still have the nice uh, fine blade, but as far as your hand goes, again, it still has really great ergonomics, and that's great, and then you're getting a little bit more room for purchase. You get this uh, nicely jimped, uh, kind of notched backspacer, um, which some people might think is a little uneven, but I think, you know, obviously from a functionality standpoint, it does give you some nice grip. Um, definitely feels great. So I'd say similar to the Wise Men, it's going to give you uh, more in your hand to grab onto and still be quite locked in. A little heavier, uh, but obviously, you know, it, it has its, it's the trade off is that it's, you know, this thing looks killer absolutely you know on the level of a custom knife when you start adding these wilkins grips uh they're just done to such a such a high high level so really beautiful and then you know again with the laminated steel here we have a light mod um this is actually just the titanium handle uh from the factory the nice thing is look at how thin that is you compare it to the wood that thing is probably the skinniest slimmest delica you can get from the factory and then i just added a milled mxg gear clip there obviously it's not going to be as you know low carry but because of how thin these are the way you're a little bit limited in what you can screw into these holes so i was really happy that the mxg gear clip uh worked and i thought that it had a nice kind of flow to it as far as the shape and the finishing um you know being relatively close uh not a perfect match there this is going to have a little bit more of a stone wash um here versus kind of like like a polished bead uh, blast finish um, but this thing is gorgeous super thin really disappears in the pocket and then you have the really nice uh, you know Damascus blade there really really handsome lights up pretty nice uh, it doesn't have a ton of contrast to it essentially it's either gonna be the darker gray color or the brighter finish uh, versus you know in certain Damascus you can get a lot of depth um, with a lot of different tones here. It's just pretty much going to be a two-tone kind of finish with the, the high polish and then the really dark, deep uh, metal there. So really, really nice. Uh, also, uh, out of, I mean, you know what? I think all these might be out of Seki City. Um, except for, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this one... Nope, oh, also Seki City. Before I jump into there, um, let's just take one last look at this. This thing is really great. Again, great ergonomics. Uh, very pocketable your cutting edge is great as you're slicing uh, the nice thing is since there's no thumb stud you can slice right through and basically your deployment method isn't going to be hurting anything right so uh, instead of it being hindered by like saying having a thumb stub there or a thumb disc um, and that's going to get in the cutting path you can pretty much use the entirety of that cutting edge uh, when you are slicing through something which definitely helps um, and man that thing is just a, it's a handsome piece so last but not least we do have um, probably my most recent pickup, which is the M390 blade, uh, which was a special uh, with these, you know, kind of blurple, almost toned scales here, which are really nice. And then I do have the actual genuine article, Lynch clip, 
on here. Uh, nice deep carry. Uh, this is the longer model that actually does line up perfectly with this seal here. So then that way you're not going to be tearing up your pockets if it's shorter, essentially. Uh, so it has a smooth point. Uh, carries really, really well. Um, this is their more recent finish. Actually, let me give it a quick wipe uh, off camera here. This is a more recent polish finish, which ends up looking actually a lot more like a like a liquid metal um, kind of gunmetal finish, a much darker um, but still quite reflective and glossy, which is uh, interesting. So uh, big ups to uh, Casey Lynch Clips uh, for really just kind of doing something different uh, that, that really looks cool. Um, so. Factory scales, whatnot, um, except you have a really, really great steel in that uh, M390 bowler. Um, really beautiful. Obviously, it's it's a qu pretty close to kind of the one that I used uh, on a daily basis with that uh, VG10 uh, because it does have the FRN scales, except I just went with an aftermarket clip because uh, the nice thing is th this is going to carry a bit better, obviously, with a deeper carry, so it's going to be able to disappear in my pocket versus this one where, you know, honestly, I've probably just kept more on my desk, uh, kind of in a bin with a bunch of pens. Here, uh, this one can get carried around and be uh, used with really... Uh, utter confidence because you do have the M390 blade steel so it's going to be really strong uh, great edge retention pretty much you know uh, maxed out across the board you're gonna have great uh, hardness uh, it's gonna be not impossible to sharpen though um, and then it's actually quite corrosion resistant so really beautiful again the ergonomics are really sell this and obviously the small profile helps it disappear in the hand as well as in the pocket um, it's just a lightweight tool um, that really is meant for cutting and not really meant to look good and it's a really an acquired taste it starts looking good to you because you carry it so often and uh, you just start caring about it in general so um, you know, hopefully I was able to kind of convey what I love so much about this knife. Even, you know, the, the factory handles do give you a little bit of jimping here that tie into the jimping uh, right here on the spine. Really beautifully done. Just the shape and then the grip, you know, multi-direction there. You can see it's a volcano grip, so it's going to be nice and grippy that direction and then a little bit slicker this direction and then the opposite side it's going to be the other way so it just gives you so much lock in even if your hands sweaty uh, or wet or anything like that so really impressive love the Delica um, so let me know about your guys' Delica collections. Obviously, if you uh, are on Instagram, definitely follow me there. But go ahead and post some links uh, to your guys' Instagrams because uh, I would love to follow more, uh, you know, knife based content there uh, and, and get that in my feed so if you guys have some cool collections or videos definitely share those in the comments below let me know what you guys think and go ahead and of course make sure to like the video if you liked it and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys